Why does Guy Ritchie's cinematic universe have us coming back for more? Is it the snappy dialogue, the unforgettable characters, or the twisty plots that unfold like a deck of cards scattered by the London wind? Today, we're diving into the top 10 most rewatchable Guy Ritchie movies to find out. Starting at number 10, Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre pairs Ritchie with Jason Statham in a snarky spy thrill that's as slick as they come. With Aubrey Plaza and Josh Hartnett adding to the hijinks, this caper hints at a wacky new franchise. Rock and Rolla at number 9 proves Ritchie's mastery of the crime genre with a comeback that's as hard-hitting as a punch from its lead, Gerard Butler. This darker dive in to London's Underworld offers a tonal shift from Richie's norm, but with the same snappy dialogue and unforgettable characters. Wrath of Man landing at number 8 showcases a vengeful Jason Statham in a tale of revenge that's as intense as it is captivating. Ditching his usual flair for something more somber, Richie crafts a narrative that's both shocking and deeply human, proving his versatility behind the camera. Number 7 introduces The Covenant, where Richie takes a serious turn to explore the bond between a marine and his translator. This departure from his typical style delivers a poignant look at war's aftermath. At 6, Sherlock Holmes reimagines the iconic detective through Richie's lens, blending mystery with buddy comedy dynamics. Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law are the dynamic duo who bring Victorian London to life in a way that's as thrilling on the 10th watch as it is on the first. The sequel, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, takes the fifth spot by pushing the boundaries of its predecessor. Darker and more absurd, it pits Holmes against Moriarty in a battle of wits. The Man from Uncle at number 4. This spy caper mixes humor, action, and style in a cocktail so smooth you'll come back for seconds. Despite its box office stumble, it's a film that showcases Richie's flair for revitalizing genres. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, the film at number 3 that launched Richie's career remains a benchmark in British cinema. It's a wild ride through London's criminal underworld that's as fresh and exciting now as it was in 1998. Coming in at number 2, The Gentleman sees Richie returning to his roots with a cast that's as charismatic as the plot is convoluted. It's a smart, self-aware critique of the genre that made him, packed with performances that elevated above mere gangster fare. And at the pinnacle, Snatch stands as Richie's magnum opus. With its unforgettable characters, sharp dialogue, and intricate plot, it's the ultimate blend of style and substance. Snatch isn't just a film, it's an experience, one that remains unmatched in Richie's repertoire for its sheer entertainment value. 